How about some horror for the holidays? What's inside the newest Horror Packs subscription bag? Now, if you were to ask me, I think what better of a gift for that horror fan out there is a subscription to Horror Pack, where not only at Christmas time, but for the rest of the year, that special somebody in your life, and it might even just be you yourself, could get horror titles delivered to your door for every single month. You can get either DVDs, you can get Blu-rays, or you can get both. Why not? The newest has arrived, and even though technically I think it falls within the November subscription, I think by the time we do eventually get the December one, it will be past Christmas. So I'd like to consider this a present gifted to me from the folks over at Horror Pack. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up, check out the contents, and dang that, I think we're going to have some fun as well. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. For this, I'm going to use, of course, my trusty knife, in this case, Old Red. We're going to go ahead and cut the bag on the front, the very top, I should say. Open it up just enough to see the edges of the titles, but not know the actual names of the movies just yet. I'm going to put it down, just like that, and I'm going to walk away. No, actually, I'm going to stay here. We're going to pull out one title at a time. We're going to look at it, talk about it, have a little bit of fun if you've seen the movie. Also, let me know down below in the comments section if it actually is a good film or not. Pulling the first title out, we have a movie called Dead Ant. Dead Ant. It says Spinal Tap meets Tremors and apparently stars Tom, Tom Arnold, Rise Coiro, Jake Busey, Leisha Haley, Sidney Sweeney, and Sean Astin. Uh, it has something to do with, obviously, big giant ants. And if Tom Arnold is sort of the star of the movie, you know where we're going with the quality of picture we're about to be seeing here. It says, when the 80s one-hit wonder glam metal band Sonic Grave embarks on a road trip to Coachella in the hopes of a comeback, they their Poyot trip pit stop in Joshua Tree incites a grisly attack and they must rock themselves out of harm's way. Ooh, quality right there. Uh, for special features, it does have side boob music video, okay, by Sonic Grave pre-stage, Firecracker Big Hug, Sonic Grave Jam Session, Building No Cella, pay, Pager Stunt versus Movie, Tom Arnold Bloody Stomp, Sean Goes Bowling, and Pitching a Tent. This was released. If I can see if I can find it. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, 2019. It's right down at the bottom corner. I couldn't, couldn't see for looking. The runtime for this is 86 minutes. 86 minutes of either good quality film. Hmm. Mm, needs a little extra salt, or it's probably going to be an absolute stinker. I don't even know yet. The next one we're going to be pulling out is The Conjuring, a classic. Now, I do have The Conjuring, but I don't know if I actually have it with this lenticular cover. You can see as I tilt it slightly to the side, to the side, to the side, to the side. It has the person clapping in the background. Certified Fresh Rotten Tomatoes. I think I actually like Conjuring 2 of my favorite of The Conjuring movies based on true cases. And of course, we're also getting the new Conjuring coming out. That's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, based on true events, the Conjuring tells the thrilling story of ghost hunters, uh, Lorraine and Ed Warren, played by Vera Farminga, and Patrick Wilson, who is one of my favorite actors, who help a family ter uh, terrorized by an evil spirit in their mysterious farmhouse. Interesting. Uh, of course, many of us, I'm sure, have seen this movie. I've seen this movie countless times. Uh, the release date on it... It's 112 minutes down below there, down below there. And the release date's not that long ago, really. I don't see it. Again, I can't see for looking. It's probably staring right at me right at this moment. And again, I can't see it at all. Somebody will tell me. I'm sure somebody will tell me down below when this movie was released. But Conjuring, that's not bad at all. And of course, we have two other titles inside. Let's see if we set the bar pretty high. I can't say we set it pretty high with Dead Ants, although I'm just speculating. Could actually be a real Oscar-winning performance. But we have Bloodline, Terror Has Awakened. This is the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. Very interesting cover, the way that they've got that. I don't know if that is... I don't think that... Is that a clock, or is that just an amulet? Anyways, on the back here, it says, Seminary student Brett Athos falls away from the church and faith, only to find that his bloodline is sought by real evil. 
on a trip with friends and an old flame, he goes on an ex- he goes to explore a cabin shrouded in mystery. Well, we already know. We already know that's not going to go and end well. Uh, and there he discovers the true nature of his heritage, fatal temptation, and triumphant redemption. His life and lives of his friends hang in the balance. Uh, I don't see any any time. I don't see actually a runtime, nor do I see when this was released. Just says Bloodline, just on the front there. And last but certainly not least, I can tell you I've not seen this movie. I peeked inside. I should have waited till I pulled it out. But we have Flatliners. Not the original starring Kiefer Sutherland, Julia Roberts, and Kevin Bacon, but the new one starring Ellen Page. I guess it's now Elliot Page. Diego Luna, uh, Nino Deprev, and Kersey Clemens. Now, this is, again, the remake, but I have not seen the remake, nor do I actually think I have this in my collection. So win-win. Winner-winner, turkey dinner, because, of course, we're coming up to Christmas time. Five medical students obsessed with the mystery of what lies beyond the confines of life embarks on a daring and dangerous experiment by stopping their hearts for short periods of time. Each triggers a near-death experience, giving them a fist hand, first hand, first hand, not fist hand, first hand account of the afterlife. But as their experiments become increasingly dangerous, they are each haunted by the sins of their past, brought on by the supernatural consequences of trespass, or trespassing to the other side. Uh, bonus features include deleted and extended scenes, reviving a cult classic, making the rounds. Also includes just what the director ordered and the ultimate question. I guess the ultimate question is, should you be stopping your heart and traveling into death's doorway? I could probably answer that immediately and say, not a good idea. It's not a good idea. You want to stay away from that completely. It has a runtime of 110 minutes. And again, why is it so hard to find the release date on this? I'm looking all around and you would think that they'd want to put that out front. In fact, I would almost even say that they should be putting it right around the runtime. Like if it's approximately 110 minutes, which I'm reading right here, I feel like that should be the same place where they always should put the release of the movie. Because if you're looking, you're going to see, hey, how long is this movie running for? Somebody's going to ask you that's going to sit down and watch this. Oh, let me just have a look. And then you can read that it says 110 minutes. And you can also then put down the case for a second, look over to them and say, oh, by the way, it was released in 2016, even though I don't even know if this was released in 2016. That was just a ballpark guess. But not a bad selection of titles. Of course, got Flatliners. I may even check that out tonight, although I feel like I'm sitting on the idea of getting a Christmas movie in there tonight, because after all, we're getting close to Christmas time. We got Flatliners. We did get Bloodline, The Conjuring, in a slip lenticular cover. And we also did get ourselves Dead Ant. Uh, I don't know about Dead Ant. That's questionable. But not a bad selection of titles, kind of covering all the bases. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these titles, if you've seen these for yourself, any one of these. i got to say, there's nothing rewarding than looking at your library of movies and just being able to look at the spines on all of them, especially if you're somebody like me, who's very meticulous, but I like to put all the conjurings, for example, all in order. And I like to try to put those in timeline as well. Ugh. It's always an ongoing burden. But let me know down below in the comment section which one of these titles you've seen for yourself. If you've maybe seen all of them. And let me know down below your comments on what you guys think of the movie. Certainly, also, if you'd like to subscribe to the Horror Pack, get horror titles delivered to your door every single month. Gift it to somebody this holiday season. Gift it to yourself as well. Either way, every single month you get four titles. One, two, three, four. Delivered right to your door. I'll put the link down below in the video description where you can subscribe to the Horror Pack today. And also, while you're subscribing to things and you're feeling generous this holiday season, and you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe for this channel. Turn the bell notification on. And keeping these, the things on either side of your nose, that is your nose bookends. Those are your eyes. Keep them ever so peeled because there's going to be definitely a lot more content coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.